Back in 2007, the Zombie Research Society declared May as Zombie Awareness Month. Their annual campaign was to raise awareness for the imminent zombie apocalypse. Hello, friends and fellow bibliophiles. Welcome back to Cat's Novel Adventures. I absolutely adore zombies, and I have celebrated Zombie Awareness Month for years. And last year, I successfully hosted my first zombie thon on my channel. So I figured, why not celebrate Zombie Thon again this year in 2024? So stick around for all the zombrific details. <laughs> I invite all of you to join me and my other zombie-loving friends to participate in Zombiethon. The more the merrier. It is a month-long readathon, watchathon that also includes other zombie-related activities. This year I created seven prompts, one prompt for each letter of the word zombies. My prompts were inspired by zombie movies, a short story, a song, a character from The Walking Dead, as well as some terminology related to zombies. Let's take a look at the prompts. Z was inspired by the movie Zombieland, which is one of my favorite zombie movies. It's about four survivors who are trying to make their way to an amusement park. So I thought this would be fun. This would be like mood reading and watching. So think rides. Rides are what you can read or watch related to zombies. Games could be a zombie board game, a card game, or even a video game. And then of course you can do any kind of crafts that are related to zombies or inspired by zombies. And if there are any other activities you can think of, go for it. The sky's the limit with this prompt. And if you just want to watch the movie Zombieland, you can do that as well. I mean, it is a zombie movie after all. O is inspired by the word outbreak. And when I think of an outbreak, I think of the zombie apocalypse and how it all gets started. You have one zombie and it goes into someone's home and bites a person sleeping in their bed and that person turns into a zombie. Then those two zombies go out and bite two more people and before you know it, you have an outbreak on your hands and then the zombie apocalypse has started. So when I think of Outbreak, I think of a zombie series and it can be of any kind. You can actually start a series, you could be in the middle of a series, or you could be actually trying to end one. So let's think about starting a series of books. You might want to watch a few episodes of zombie TV shows, or perhaps look into movie or video game franchises. And of course, there are episodes of podcasts that are devoted to zombies. M was inspired by the amazing Michonne, who is a character in The Walking Dead, which is one of my favorite TV shows. You definitely want somebody with Michonne's capabilities in your group during a zombie apocalypse. So for this prompt, read a book, or watch a movie or TV show, or even play a video game with a badass female character in it. Brains, brains, brains. Yes, B is inspired by brains because zombies love to eat brains. It's like a delicacy for them. Although we do know that they also like to eat the rest of your body, but that's besides the point. This prompt is all about snacks and spirits inspired by zombies. And I am excited about this prompt because I myself enjoy a good thematic cocktail and I have a zombie cocktail recipe for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of snacks and spirits y'all are gonna bring to the table. A one and a two and a one, two, three. It's beginning to look a lot like zombies everywhere you go. Yes, the letter I was inspired by the zombie song, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Zombies. Y'all know I love 
to sing and nothing makes my heart happier than to sing a song about zombies. This prompt is all about music. You could listen to a zombie song or sing a zombie song, watch zombie music videos, listen to a musical group like White Zombie, or you could watch musicals, both movies or on the live stage. There's so much potential for this prompt. It's beginning to look a lot like zombies. They're in every store. But the scariest sight to see is the zombies that will be at your own front door. E was inspired by Eat Me, a short story written by Robert McCammon this prompt is all about reading bite-sized zombie stories. You could read short stories, articles, picture books, manga, or comic books. This might be a great starting point for people new to zombie literature. S was inspired by the movie Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, which is another one of my favorite movies. And this prompt is about reading zombie survival guides or doing something with comedy horror inspired by zombies. For example, books, movies, TV shows, visiting websites, or listening to podcasts. Or you could also watch the movie Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, and that would fulfill this prompt as well. With all that being said, Zombiethon is all about having fun while celebrating zombie awareness throughout the month of May. It is not meant to be anything that's going to be stressful. If you read one book or watch one movie or play one video game that's related to zombies, you've participated in Zombiethon. You don't even really have to even use the prompts if you don't want to. You could mood read or mood watch. You could eat zombie snacks and drink zombie cocktails all month long. It does not make any difference to me because it's all about being a little more aware of zombies and the potential for a zombie apocalypse. Remember, the prompts are just there for inspiration. Also, if you choose to use the prompts, you could multi-dip. I'm fine with that. Like I said, I just want everybody to join in the zombie fun with me and have a great time. In addition to the prompts, I'll be reading The Reapers Are the Angels by Alden Bell. Amy at Amy Noel Reads chose this for her Dark Hearts Book Club for May in celebration of Zombiethon. So there will not be a group read for Zombiethon this year. However, this book will cover three of the prompts. For Outbreak, it is the first in the Reaper series. For Michonne, there is a 15-year-old badass female character in it named Temple. And also for the Zombieland prompt, for Rides, read a zombie book. Of course, you are welcome to read The Reapers or the Angels along with us. Also, with the help of my friends, Kelsey at Slime and Slashers, Kelly at Kelly Hooked on Books, Amy at Amy Noel Reads, and Andrew at It Came From the Page, we will have a couple of zombie watch parties on my Discord. Last year, I hosted Zombiethon Sprints, and I also had some live chats with some fantastic friends of mine, Kelsey at Slime and Slashers, Katrina at Katrina Brown, Amy at Amy Noel Reads, and Linda at Linda the Gamer Gal. Join me for these live chats, and we had a great time talking about zombie-related things. This year, I want to try something a little bit differently. Instead of having them separately, I'm going to combine the sprints with some chatty parts in between where we can talk about zombies, zombie awareness, play some zombie games, etc., etc. So this will be fun, I hope. I like to try something new, and I can't wait to see who my zombie guests will be this year. As many of you know, I do have a Discord for my channel, Cat's Novel Adventures, 
and I do have a channel that will be devoted to Zombiethon 2024. It is currently under construction and I'm getting it all ready for May 1st. However, I did notice that a couple of my zombie loving friends have popped in to find out what their zombie names are for this year. But again, I assure you it will be up and running, ready to go by May 1st. It will have graphics and printables. It also have the prompts that I talked to you about today. And finally, I do have an Instagram devoted to Zombiethon. You can check out the link in the description box below and join me there as well. Well, friends, those are the deets for Zombiethon 2024. Do you like zombies? Do you think you would like to participate in Zombiethon? Let me know in the comments below. You know I'd love for you to join me for Zombie Awareness Month. In the meantime, stay amazing and be adventurous.